Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing Sticker Burn. Kaldotha Stickers. So what we're gonna do here is we're using the new brand new card to Magic Online, Name Sticker Goblin. So on paper, this gets a sticker and then adds mana. On Magic Online, it's one through six, add four mana. You're gonna roll a d20. When it enters the battlefield, it gets a trigger. If the trigger resolves and this, the goblin still exists on the battlefield, then you roll a d20 and then you get mana. So 1 through 6 is add 4 mana, 7 through 14 is 5 mana, 15 through 20 is 6 mana, which means this is basically a seething song almost all the time that has a body attached to it. Now that makes it really a lot more beneficial to be running our 8 reckless impulses here. And this was originally a list by Walker735, but I've modified it to have 8 burn spells. So we're running 8 reckless impulse, we can go goblin, play a couple impulses, Cold the Rebirth, Bushwhacker, Kill You. We're playing four synth, one implement, and then four epicures. Maybe I sh I thought it was probably better to have the eight burn spells than uh, a second implement here, but that could be wrong. We'll find out. And then for the threats, we have four swift sphere, four Kaldotha rebirth, and then four bushwhacker. So we're looking to just slam in and kill our opponent ASAP. In the sideboard here, we have three end the festivities for other Kaldotha decks. Two Flaring Pains for Strands, two Seal of Fire, which is a way to have an onboard answer to uh, an X2 or X1 that's going to get hit with a all the glitters. And then I'm also playing two Smash to Smithereens instead of two more Seal of Fire, just because I feel like it's good to take on Enforcer or something. And then we have four Relic of Progenitus, four Terror Decks, and two Makeshift Munitions. The purpose of Munitions is so that we can attack or block into a lifelinker and then sacrifice so that the opponent gets zero lifelink. So that is the deck, it's short and sweet. We're gonna just try to burn our opponents out and really make uh, it known how good this deck is with the name Sticker Goblin. Hopefully we do well. If you're interested in checking out the Patreon, that's patreon.com slash calicize. Hit me up with a like and subscribe. <laughs> let's, hit, let's do some burning, see you there. We're here in round one, we're zero zero. We have a pretty medium hand. I'm still going to keep it. We'll find out what happens. We've got two redraws. Our opponent is playing Idyllic Beachfront, which could indicate Cogate or could indicate um, Familiars. We're just going to lead on Epicure and see what happens. So this gives us a turn one threat to start pinging in. The Epicure deals in one damage when it enters the battlefield. If they're copying a Familiars list from me, they would be not, not be playing Beachfront. So it's more likely that they're, excuse me, that they're on a Cogate. Plays an island, Augur Bolas. So this could be a Jeskai Ephemerate. Reveal a Lightning Bolt. So what do we want to do? I think I cleared a blocker. And then I'm going to just discard a land and attack. So now we drew our name sticker goblin. I wonder if they're going to have a counter spell right now. I'm just going to try Reckless Impulsing. They did not have a counter spell. Play land and epicure. And it is just guy ephemerate confirmed. So they're on a deck that's not playing scred. But it would have been better with them not having the counter spell for us to have played out the name sticker goblin there for the mana, because they can bolt the goblin in response to the trigger to make it make zero mana. I know they're at 16 after we played a second epicure. They play an island. I mean, I guess best case scenario for us, they go Drifter Ephemerate, oddly enough. Because we can Goblin, Goblin, Reckless Impulse. I will attempt to play a Name Sticker Goblin from Exile. They're going to allow that to resolve. Okay, try it again. Is that going to resolve? This ability is going to resolve too, huh? Okay, Reckless Impulse. We have a ton of mana. We have nine mana now. What's going to happen? They allow it. Land. I'm going to Blood Token. Discarding a land. We might kill them this turn if they don't have anything. Uh, Call Dotha Rebirth this. Bushwhacker. And they're just dead. <laughs> they're just dead. They were super dead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3 threes for 27, 30 damage on turn 4. Okay, solid. 
All right, so they have, I guess all that we need is the relics. And then we can trim on chain lightnings. Seems okay. We could bring in the seal of fire as a way to have an onboard answer to a uh, drifter ephemerate, but I think it's probably fine to not do that. I'll keep, go land Swiss beer go. We're probably going to have a hydroblast. Got to go for it though. Force them to have it, I guess. They do. So we'll go land relic or just play the relic. They could spell pierce me. Play implement. Do, 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 and save targets. Relic your uh, blue blast. <clears throat> we could also have no changes and just go for straight aggro. But I don't. I think the relic's probably a fine upgrade to the chain lightning. Let's try for a name sticker goblin. They're gonna counter. Okay. We will relic. That's the turn. Okay, so they exile their counter spell. They have three mana. I think they're gonna kill one of our lands or exile the relic. They cleansing wildfire a basic to get a planes. Okay, old strategy cotton. Let's play a synthesizer. See what we find. Find a bushwhacker, which is pretty mediocre. I guess I'm just going to kick her that. We'll attack you for two. <laughs> we have one threat on the table. <laughs> they cycle a Lorien revealed. They grab an island. Don't want to crack the relic until there's an ephemerate in the graveyard. End step, I can just sack the implement to ping him and draw a card. And untap with three cards in hand, four cards in hand, actually. On ringer cleric. They can gain some life. Okay, so that's a blocker. We'll eat a card from your graveyard. Draw for turn, or uh, go to end step. Go ahead and crack the implement. We're back down to 19. We find our name sticker goblin. Let's attempt to cast it. Counter spell again. Sad. Pass the turn. After relicking, of course. I could have played the Swiss Spear. I'm just going to leave the, re the relic open. When it's going to play a Moldrifter. Plays Arcane Answer. All right, let's crack the relic. Mm hmm. They attack for one. Let's go Swiss Spear. Rebirth the Synth. Let me get to draw a card, sort of. They're going to Blue Blast. Hydroblast the Rebirth, okay. Another Synthesizer. So we'll play the Synthesizer. Now a Swiss Spear's a 3, 4. Find a Lightning Bolt. Can Lightning Bolt the Mancer and get in for 5? Probably a good plan. Blast that. And land. You take 5 damage. Swiss so Spear's a card. <laughs> So next turn, we can either crack the synth looking for a top deck, or <coughs> we can just play Reckless Impulse. So I think we probably want to add to the board. Let's crack the synth, see what we find. Epicure, all right. So more things on the table. Play the Epicure. I'm going to try... They could have Ephemerate in hand, so maybe I should wait on the Lightning Bolt. Just wait. Please land. Draw a card. Bushwhacker. Okay, let's reckless impulse. I'm looking for a second bolt. Okay, now we're going to rebirth the blood token. Now I'm not going to worry about the Dawnringer. Just going to bushwhacker. They have a Hydroblast. Okay. So this pushes more damage. I'm going to pass. I'm going to do this. 
Last card was a Hydro Blast, so they would have been able to count on Delaney Bolt regardless. But I should have probably bolted a Cleric. Two mana. They Wildfire, getting a land and a card. They are at six. They're dead on board. Plays Murmuring Mystic. Uh, okay. Let's. I mean, we have so many options. They're just very, very dead. They're dead regardless. <laughs> Swiss Spear. Let's make them super dead. They conceded. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they were dead on board just the Swiss Spear. <laughs> on to round two. Round two. We're versus Sacrificed. We're one and zero. We have. Some stuff to do on turn three. I'm going to keep land pass. We could chain lightning them right now, but I think I want to save it. It's not great to just go land pass in this deck. They have a planes into a Lunark veteran. Well, I don't want that to live. I'm going to Ren's Resolve because I can turn three some stuff. But if they're on, so this is like the Bully Gates deck, we probably want um, the thing that'll deal one to everything and the festivities. Maybe even some, uh, okay, they're going to bring out a Strands, okay. Play Name Sticker Goblin. We'll see if they play a Strands. Okay, this resolves. Pass to Synthesizer. We're definitely going to add to the table, at least. Procure. Cast that. I'm going to go for Chain Lightning on their Fiend's Informant. So they're going to have to use the Strands here. They're not using the Strands. So, I guess I just smash. We're losing the Ren's Resolve. So do I want the two cards? This is one, two, three... Three, four, five, six, times two, twelve. Okay, I guess I'm going Cold Delta Rebirth, the Blood Token, Bushwhacker, F6, Attack. Okay, a good turn. They're at seven life. I think it was worth it. They play a Squadron Hawk. All right. You get to gain a life and go to eight. We need to get the strands out of their yard. I really want, I guess Lava Dart would be good in this deck. Plays a Boros Garrison. Gonna get the Lunark off the table. No attacks. I think I play the Great Furnace and then I'm gonna attack. That's the turn. So they're gonna sacrifice a Hawk or they're gonna flash back the strands. They sacrifice a Hawk. Okay. So this next turn they can play two Hawks and then play the Battle Screech to gain a bunch of life. Okay, Sacred Cat. I wonder what I do here. I think I need Munitions versus this deck. And obviously end the festivities. Maybe that big turn was just not worth it. Crack a Synthesizer. The one thing I want to get rid of right now. Okay, Ren's Resolve. Play a land, go ahead and play Ren's Resolve. I'm going to attack with the Name Sticker Goblin. Let's see, are you going to use your strands? Still no. All right. Plays a land, they have five mana available. They're tapping for five and casting a Faithless Looting. Battle Screech in the Graveyard is sad for me. Plays a Guardian of the Guild Pact. Okay. So they're gaining a ton of life off the Lunark. All of our stuff has come undone. But the Epicure. I'm going to bolt the Lunark. Alright, I'll pass the turn, I guess. We have six damage in hand. Brands is a problem. So if they gate the cat, I'm going to bolt it. Lightning Bolt. Okay, so no cat for you. <clears throat> bring back cat. Yeah, expected. This is like the anti burn deck. Luminous Phantom. They get to gain life whenever a creature leaves the battlefield under their control. 
think we're going to lose. So how do I win this deck? I'm just going to go to the next game. So they're going super wide with 1-1s one and the festivities for real. And then Flaring Pain. Get rid of the Chain Lightnings. I'm going to get rid of one Implement. Okay. Right about Flaring Pain. Obviously that's very good here. Alright, we're going to play first. Uh, keep. Land Swift Spear, turn two, Ren's Resolve. Obviously our opponent doesn't have Hydro Blasts to worry about. Could have Bolts and stuff. Send, Land Swift Spear, go. They play a Cliff Gate. Yes, a tap land. Land, Ren's Resolve. Attack. Find a Synthesizer and a Bushwhacker. Not really great. We'll try playing the Synthesizer and see what we see. Squadron Hawk for our opponent. We could kick the Bushwhacker just to get in for five. They reveal two Squadron Hockeys. Uh, synthesizer. Make it a 2 3. Looking for Bolt, I guess. I think I'd rather take the card draw than the Bushwhacker here and just attack. Send. Oh, we have a Flaring Pain and a the Bushwhacker is going to go away, but we have a Name Sticker Goblin. But they can use the Prismatic Strands right now to save their Hawk because they know we have the Flaring Pain coming up. So this is going to depend a lot on how much uh, we get out of the Name Sticker Goblin and how much we get out of the Synthesizers. Because so we could like Goblin, Crack, the Synth, Bushwhacker. They're going to Journey. Okay. They're looting. Probably loot away a cat. Double Hawk. Wow. They're looking for lands. Okay, Goblin. See what we get. Five mana. Well, we know we have to cast this. This is Synthesizer. Swift Spear. Cast a Synthesizer. We could just go Flaring Pain, Bushwhacker. Flaring Pain. Let's cast the Bushwhacker here. Send. So we're taking 8 damage. Go to 9. We have a Lunark Veteran. So now we are looking for our end of festivities. Our Fiend's Informant. So they could potentially make that a 3 2. Yep, this card's a Strands. They're back to 10 life. No attacks for our opponent. Let's Ren's Resolve. We have a 2-3 Swifty, one Flaring Pain in the Graveyard, lay a land, I'm going to attack with uh, these two creatures, send, okay, no effects. I will Flaring Pain in response to this Prismatic Strands here. Their creature is going to die, both of them are going to die anyway. We have, we're just down to our Swifty and a Bushwhacker. Our strain, our Flaring Pain is gone. They go Lunark into Thraven. Looking for double end the festivities, I guess. Back to 13 life. Dawnbringer Cleric gains more life. Can we get through it? Maybe I should have brought in the uh, munitions. 17 for our opponent. They could even attack us. Let's crack a synthesizer. Find another mountain. Play the mountain. Play a synthesizer. So I'm gonna kick the bushwhacker since we have to play it if we want to use it at all. Send. They can just eat one of the bushwhackers with their cleric. This is 10 damage. They're gonna kill one with the inspector, kill the other one with the cleric, take six. But next turn we can add a creature to the board yet again. Cracking our synthesizers. Making some samurais. Will we go all the way? They crack a clue. They have two mana right now. We're going to play another hawk. No, Lumith Red Field, ugh. Yeah, that's not very good for me. Let's crack the synth first. 
mountain, play resolve, okay, place Epicure. We're gonna go ahead and loot. Let's attack with both of these creatures. So we're presenting four damage. They wanna block, double, like triple block and kill my Swiss here. I guess that's fine. We're gonna double block a Samurai. That's it, they're just gonna take two, okay. Two mana. Plays your Fiend's Informant. So they're going back to 10 life. Hmm. Obviously the Flaring Pain is good. Maybe the, if they're gonna bring in Luma Threadfield, maybe my board wipe and the festivities are not very good. I'm gonna cast a Faithless Looting. They're looking for a Rally of the Peasants, I mean a Battle Screech. So they discard Basilisk Gate, Boros Garrison, or no, Basilisk Gate and Rafine's Informant. Surprising. So we can play this land, crack the Synthesizer, put an Epicure, play an Epicure. So you go to eight or nine, now you go to eight. Let's go ahead and discard a land and pass the turn and attack with these two. I'm relatively fine taking any of their creatures off the table right now. Okay. They kill the Rafine's Informant. I'm gonna pass the turn. Raven Inspector, gain two more life, go back to ten. Then they get to draw a card. Okay. Sacred Cat, scary. If they get Basil's Gate online, that Sacred Cat's gonna be a problem. Okay, we find Bushwhacker. So let's synthesize her first. They cannot currently um, strands us. Find a flaring pain. Yes. So I kind of have to cast that. If I crack the synthesizer, I have to cast it. I can't use like crack off the synthesizer. So let's cast the flaring pain. Mm hmm. That's a Ren's resolve. Looking for uh, Koldotha Rebirth now. Looks like in Koldotha, this blood token. Main Sticker Goblin also be good. Mountain. We can Koldotha, the blood token. And then we can Bushwhack. Boom, boom. Send. We're coming in. Wait. Okay, attack for a lot, whatever it is. <laughs> All our creatures are going to trade with their creatures, except for the Thraven and the Dawnbringer. This is a 6 6, so it has to be blocked. Swift Spear. So they're going to block the Swift Spear with the cat, which makes sense. I'm going to block Samurai on the, the, the Cleric on the Samurai. I'm going to trade off their Lunark Veteran, trade off their Lunark Veteran, and kill my Epicure. Okay. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it'll go to 2. Because of the Sacred Cat, obviously. It's the turn. So the Sacred Cat is coming back to the table. <laughs> They're going to bring the Phantom back. If 3 mana, plays another Phantom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blockers. I think we have enough to kill them. Base. Nice top deck. Bam. Got him. Okay, let's try again. So Luma Red Field, huh? Still think End the Festivities is pretty good versus them, because they're going wide with one ones. Definitely scary to have to do to deal with the darn uh, Sacred Cats. I think we're just gonna do the same thing. Looking for a fast hand. Not a fast hand whatsoever. They're keeping seven. We're on the draw. We have Epicure. We draw a land. We're I'm just going to risk the second land, but I know you're not supposed to keep one landers with this deck. So we'll find out if we die. Land, Epicure. They're at 19. Play as a Cliffgate and a Lunark. I'm going to jam a Synthesizer trying to find a land. We found the land. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Swiss Sphere. 
attack. So I think next turn we are going to Reckless Impulse or Ren's Resolve. Lunark Veteran again. Sacred Cat. Okay. Come on, and the festivities. Gets in for one. Okay, find a mountain. Cast Ren's Resolve. Looking for end of festivities. Find a Swiss Sphere. Um, I think I'm going to Swift Spear now, because next turn I'm just going to Coldotha plus Bushwhacker. Or I could Swift, I could Coldotha right now, and then I have blockers. I'll well, Coldotha right now. Attack with everything. So now they're at 16. Any creature is going to gain them 2 life. They cast a Faithless Looting. Discarding looting in a plains, plays a land. Another Lunark veteran. So we're really looking for end of festivities now. Luma Thread Field would be a, a beating, and it is a beating. Let's go Swiss Spear. Whacker. Attack. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And we have another Whacker in hand. Oh, whack. They're going to trade their Lunark Veteran. I guess that allows them to gain a bunch of life next turn by replaying it and replaying the cat. Plays a Sacred Cat. They're going to play their other creature. They do gain a bunch of life. No attacks, I assume. Going to lead on Synthesizer, looking for a land. We find. Ren's Resolve. Cool. Cast that. Now I have two three fours that are going to attack. Let's send in. Cast the turn. Uh, unfortunately, next turn I have to probably cast the Flaring Pain. Maybe I don't. So they let their Lunar Veteran die, they gained a life, then they play it again, then they're going to gain a life. Fiends and Forma gains them a life. I'm just looking for land drops, personally. They discard a Plains. They're going to replay the Lunark Veteran from the graveyard. Comes in as a Phantom. They're at 13. Declines to attack. Let's play Swiss Spear. Go ahead and cast Reckless Impulse. Because we want lands. And then attack with three Swiss Spears. We have lost our Flaring Pain now. I'm going to kill the Rafine's Informant. Just to. Because they can replay the Lunark Veteran. I don't know. I don't know what the correct play is there. Journey to Nowhere on a Swiss Spear. Bummer Town. Okay. They're really just hoping to find their Basilisk Gate to try to kill us with the Sacred Cat. Because if they can get the Sacred Cat gated up, we're going to die. Let's cast Synthesizer. Still looking for lands. Find end the festivities, so I can attack with everything. They can't profitably block because I'll just end the festivities. So I'm trading, basically trading my creatures directly. Okay. They take three. Now they're no longer gaining life on ETB, but they're gaining a bunch of life when creatures die. So I could just use the end of festivities. I think I'm going to just Ren's Resolve, still looking for lands. Finally find a land. Land. I'm going to play out this Voldaren Epicure. And next turn, we're going to attempt to win the game. Because they only gain life when the creature dies, so they're going to get three life, but it's not like the creatures are going to die. We're just going to go wide. We're going to kill them. Lunark Phantom. Lunar's Phantom comes back into the battlefield. They attack us for one. They're feeling very safe. Little did you know. Here comes the name sticker goblin. Nice top deck. Okay. All right. Let's call Delta Rebirth the synthesizer. And the festivities, huh? Okay. Don't know if that matters. They're at 10. I'm going to cast a synthesizer. To see if there's anything cool on top. 
guess like a land would allow me to cast the end of the festivities plus still cast double bushwhacker if they have something like an electricery i'll be dead Ooh, and the festivities they're gonna gain nine life this way though do it again they gain nine life one two three four five six seventy nine and then we bushwhacker them <laughs> you are now hopefully dead i didn't count they have the electricery ah oh, brutal attack all right nine damage but now my creatures are going to get through we can bushwhacker plus reckless impulse we have a journey for the swift spear okay so we're going to put them to six. I think I just start cracking the synthesizers to add to the table. Another name sticker goblin would be great. Lightning bolts. So two, six, nine. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Count it out. Count it out. It's five. Bolt. And sent. Full face. <laughs> Taste it. Okay. 2-0 on round three. Round three on the play. Uh, keep. If we can get to three, then we're going to be able to really do stuff. Just going to play the Epicure out. Turn one. Then see what happens turn two. Okay, here comes the Epicure. One damage to face. Bop you, get a uh, blood. What are you up to, Lysior? Oh, I see. Play Great Furnace. I'm going to attack. Oh no, this is the Autonomous Furnace, not a Great Furnace. Send. We're going to go to 18. They were at 19, now they're at 18. Okay, okay. Uh, affinity. All right. Go play this. They're reading the card. <laughs> they could kill it with the trigger on the stack if they have a bolt. And uh, I'm not really sure how I'm going to f sideboard against this deck. I think I want, I mean, obviously the smashes. Maybe relics are okay. Probably not. Just smashes over to uh, chain lightnings. They are, no, this is the first time they've seen the card. They're going to let it resolve. Yeah, they did not. They let it resolve. Okay, we're going to play Synthesizer. We find a Great Furnace. Let's crack the Synthesizer. Ren's Resolve. Okay, good turn, good turn. Cast the Ren's Resolve. And we will attack. So this next turn we have... All right, so they just did not uh, read the card, and that's okay. I'm not going to explain it to them. But in case you didn't know, this trigger only works if the name sticker goblin is still on the battlefield when it resolves. Does it say that? If it's on the battlefield. Yep. So land. That's reckless impulse. I'm going to counter. I will go epicure. One damage. Go ahead and call out the rebirth. And attack for three. Okay, we'll attack for one, not three. Looking for a bushwhacker. They have Icker Wellspring. Okay. If I think if this deck like if Affinity gets the late game, we're probably gonna die. They deadly dispute the Wellspring. Plays a Kark Clan Shaman. Okay. Let's just go ahead and sacrifice my furnace thing. Land. Attack you. Yeah, they just kill everything. It's fine. Do I want to chain lightning them? I guess so. Mm -hmm. I think I should save it for when I have a Swiss Sphere. When or if. I have nine damage in hand. They have three lands on the table and four cards in hand. For our clan shaman. 
Let's play another Wellspring. Blood Fountain so they can get back their Crark Dark. There's a Mirror Enforcer. I'm going to discard my land. I'm going to go to the next game. Not great. Uh, so we want the Smash. Take out two Chain Lightnings. So we have to be a little bit more careful, I think. That's pretty much it. Just be more careful about playing around Crark and not, not go wide until we have the actual attack. <coughs> Haven't faced Affinity in a long time, so... I would like to play first. Can't keep that. I'm going to keep this and put back a Bolt, I guess. And then play Land Epicure. Pass the turn. Land. Pass attack. Now they can play Hydroblast, so that'll be a problem. Let's try Name Sticker Goblin. We have Hydroblast. Back you. Seems like this deck is not going to line up very well against uh, a good affinity deck. We're going to Ren's Resolve. Counter again. Attack you. So the Lightning Bolt's pretty much just going to go face, right? It's not going to do very much else. They don't have anything else in the deck to really hit. I guess I can attack and then bolt a mirror enforcer. Plus impulse. And let's swing. And I kill your enforcer. Oh, misplay. All right, I'm just going to go out to the next game. I failed. <sighs> on to round four. Round four versus Kid Renan, who has been on... Ponza. So let's see if he's still in Ponza. Feel like Mono Red is a good matchup versus Ponza. We'll find out. Land Epicure Go. They are in red as well. Land Epicure Go. So do I want to kill their Epicure? Another Great Furnace. I think I'm just going to attack. That's fine. I thought about. I would like to save the Chain Lightning to maybe hit something from their side that's more threatening than the Epicure. We find a Reckless Impulse off the Synthesizer, which is not super helpful. We're going to raise right now. That's called Dota Rebirth. Okay. So I can resolve my Name Sticker Goblin. We make 5 mana, play Synthesizer. Chain Lightning. Cast Ren's Resolve. Double Chain Lightning. Face. Give Blood Token away this mountain. That's the turn. We crack another synth. They find a Name Sticker Goblin, so they're on a very similar list. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Plays another Synthesizer. We find a Mountain. So I can play the Mountain. What else you got? They could bolt the sticker goblin and then get in for three. Okay. Land. Resolve. Play Epicure. Then I'm going to go Chain Lightning U. I suppose I should trade the Epicure for a token. So they Ren's Resolve into Bolt plus Ren's Resolve. A Reckless Impulse. They draw into a Bolt Resolve. They Bolt my creature. Attack for 6. Okay, we have a Bolt in Exile. Serenz Resolve. Oh no, that's mine. That's theirs. Crack the Synthesizer. Find Bushwhacker. Pass the Bushwhacker. Land. I guess kill your creature. Pass the turn. I shouldn't have played the... No, I needed to play the land. They're going to cast their Ren's Resolve, they find Epicure and another Ren's Resolve. Maybe just cast the Ren's Resolve here, I guess. The Mirror. Yeah, we're not doing great here. Luckily, they exile the Bushwhacker. This Epicure, we're at 9. Trade. Take 3. We're going to get rid of the land. Get rid of a creature. I think we lost. Let's just go to the next. So we need to be bringing in the end of festivities. Just cutting some chain lightnings. Maybe smash the smithereens is okay. I think I'll just bring in the end of festivities there. 
And can we do it? Uh, keep. We have a turn to Koldotha. So we'll find out if they are also on the uh, white plan. We don't really have a plan B where we like lean on our stickers or whatever. I'm going to play the synthesizer. I'm a little bit nervous that they have a uh, board wipe. The board wipe is sorcery speed. <coughs> yep. Let's discard a land. Play a land. Pass the turn. Bridget, we kind of want to just like find a moment to go rebirth bushwhacker so we can slam in because this would, this is representing eight damage. Okay. Reckless Impulse into Mountain Koldotha. Are you going to Koldotha your land? They decide that's a good idea. Let's Koldotha the Synthesizer, draw a card, make some creatures. Attack you now. We trade one for one. Okay, they take two damage. We have three lands in hand. It's not looking great for the home team. We play an Epicure. That's the turn. Play a land, pass. I think I'm staying on defense, but not really sure what's happening. We're flooding out. They have lots of action in hand. Cast Swift Spear. Let's trade here if they offer me the trade. Kill my creature. Get in for three. Put me to nine. I have nothing going on. I need a Reckless Impulse. All right. On round five. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be that way. All right. Let's go. Try to get the 3-2. Okay, we're in round five. We're two and two. Now, if we draw a second land, this hand, well, second and third land, so I see. we'll, we'll see what happens. But this hand can definitely pop off because we can put a lot on the table and slam in if we get the Name Sticker Goblin to go off. They're on the bully deck again, so hopefully we can win that. Play an Epicure and pass. We're going to just... Probably Koldotha. Squadron Hawk. Okay. Swift Spear. Do I want to play the Epicure or the Koldotha Rebirth right now? Probably Koldotha. Attack. We take three. They're going to trade their creature. That's pretty good for me. Journey the Swift Spear. I'm looking for a land at this moment. Okay, that is a land. Did what you asked, the deck said. Did what you asked. Send three. Last time we got blown out by Electricery. Plays a Lunark veteran that is just, I couldn't even see for a minute. They're at 13. We have five, six, seven creatures, so we're going to be representing 14 damage. Okay. We might be able to win. Pass this. Pass this. They're at 12. Kick this. F6. Math is for blockers. Send. <laughs> Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright. I think we just want the flaring pain and the end of festivities. Cutting the chain lightnings. And the implement. Math is for blockers. <laughs> I'm going to keep this one. We have the Flaring Pain in hand this time, which is a lot better than having it in our deck to get exiled. They play a Lunark Veteran. We're going to go land, Swiss Spear, attack. Hiya! Man, if we can get to that third land, I'm taking so many risks by just uh, keeping one landers here for sure. They are going to play a Lunark Veteran and pass. Will you attack? They do attack. Okay. We did not find a land. Attempt to find a land. With attack. That's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> We've got the gates. For Fiend's Informant. Should mold. Now they can bring back the Battle Screech. Play a three-minute inspector. We're getting buried, completely buried. Are they going to screech? 
So I'm looking for NFSivities specifically. I'm gonna land, play land, play Swiss here, bolt this, tack. If I find another land, we can double name sticker goblin and then look for a bushwhacker. Black, huh? Mardu bully. So we do find the bushwhacker. Just gonna play the synthesizer and try to find a land. And it looks like they're holding up a potentially prismatic strand. So if we find the land, we can just attack and then hold up flaring pain. Found flaring pain. No attacks. They crack a clue. Just felt like attacking there was risky. Especially just into uh, prismatic strands where they could block everything and then kill us. Completely trounce us. They play a land. They can attack with their birdies. No attacks. Swiss Sphere. Pass the turn. I guess next turn we can attack and then see how they block, and because we have Flaring Pain in hand. Opponent is going to play a Rafine's Informant, which is quite good. Well, they just discard a land. Now I definitely can't attack. This card's a Battle Screech. Oh! Screech again. They gain a bunch of life. They're 28. Now they can probably attack. They're still not attacking. Really weird. Okay. Furnace. Pass this. Does it resolve? Resolves. Pass another one. Resolve. Resolves again. Crack a synthesizer. Now I'm looking for end the festivities. Mountain is fine, I guess, but I can't can't use it. I'm gonna crack this synthesizer too. It's pretty bad. Been a bushwhacker. I'm going to attack with my samurais. Pretty bad. They're gonna trade some birds. So unfortunately, I think. My early no land keep was bad, and then it ended up being even worse because we went from one land to a million lands. They're getting rid of my white creatures. It's the turn. They can deal me 11 damage just from Basilisk Gate in the air. Now it's 13 damage. So our only hope here is to find a end the festivities. Play this Epicure. Going to attack. I mean, I'm dead here. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. They they can block and then kill my stuff. Okay, so we need fast hand. We need lands. We need to just all come together. Am I a burn player? Apparently not. I was doing really well with the deck previously. <laughs> Let's keep. We have two card draw spells. Synthesizer. We have lands. Land go. Maybe I just take the uh, Lunarchs off the table. Opponent's probably going to play a tap land. They're going to play a Lunarch Veteran again. I'll just bolt it. Okay, untap. Play Reckless Impulse. Pass the turn. Unfortunate to find End the Festivities there. Pass the turn again. We're going to call Dotha this. And then attack for eight. You're twelve. Play Dom Rare Cleric to gain two life. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I need a lightning bolt. Or a chain lightning, but I took out my chain lightnings. Play Swift Spear. Play Ren's Resolve. I'm saving the synthesizer for later. Okay. Let's just push damage, I guess. Attack. End. They're at nine right now. So if they're representing um, having strands, then I have to just keep the flaring pain up. But they don't have strands right now. Triple cleric. Correct. Play the flaring pain. Just to put in the graveyard. 
Get my bushwhacker onto the table. Pass the turn. I think we're going to die because these clerics are bricking us. They can't pick them up and put them down, though. It's probably all the clerics they have in their deck. Hey, drains to nowhere on the Swiss Spear. Mm-hmm. What is black for? Fumes, maybe? A synthesizer. Find a bolt. Okay. Get rid of a cleric. I'll play Epicure, pass the turn. Question is, maybe I should have played the land so I could crack the synth and then cast whatever. I was thinking I could blood token away the land. We're getting hammered. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to attempt to crack the synthesizer. Blow the rebirth. Okay. That's the turn. I guess that's a reason to hold on to the blood token. Five mana. Four mana for Arms of Hadar, and we're dead. <laughs> oh man, truly wrecked. So we we lost to the decks that were prepared. We lost to Grixis, the Mirror. I guess we're not, it's not over by this. I really felt like it was over though. I guess it's not technically over. Pass the turn. I would sh for sure have already scooped if I didn't forget to, that I passed my turn. <clears throat> and Arms of Hadar was bad for us. They're going to discard. Battle Screech. Pretty nice. Once again, I am asking for an end of festivities. We've drawn a lot of cards. Although end of festivities would gain them a billion life at the moment. Sure, they attack for three. Discard my land. They have one, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we are officially dead. Oh, brutal. All right, so maybe this deck is gambling. I don't know. I had a 5 0 yesterday and uh, got come, kind of trounced today, so we'll see how it shakes out. But the Name Sticker Goblin definitely made for some crazy turns. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.